Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Disney D Vlogs. Today, another episode of Q and A, and we have a very special guest on. And what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to pass you over to her, so she can explain what we are doing. Hey Disney D Vlog fans, and hey Dave. I am Natty Rock, and today I am really excited because Dave has asked me to come on and ask 30 questions of him for another Q&A round and I am so honored to be here. A little bit about myself so you're not just wondering who is this girl. I'm Nettie Rock. I am a Disney blogger, vlogger, YouTuber. Um, I also specialize in travel and theme parks and lifestyle. I'm a lifestyle brand owner. Um, I have a personal website, which I'm sure they will have linked below. Um, but yeah, so I'm not just a random girl on the street. This is kind of my life. Um, and I'm sure it's kind of yours too. <laughs> if you're on here, you're probably as big a Disney nerd as I am. So thank you for being on here with us. I am extremely excited. So let's get right on into it. Um, I got 30 questions. I got a couple different formats. And um, I hope you guys like it. So number one. What is your favorite place to compliment a Walt Disney World trip? So any place that you love to go to that is not on property has nothing to do with Disney. So me personally, um, and I think I speak for both myself, Lucy, and probably Ellie, um, probably um, go to Discovery Cove. Uh, the reason being is because it's all in. It's a relaxing day. So you get your food included, breakfast, dinner, lunch. It's an all day thing. You have to pay extra for the experts like swimming with the dolphins and such. Uh, but overall, you can go into the pools, have a swim. There's um, a wave pool in there and it's quite, quite deep. Um, it's just an amazing day. And if you go to my channel, you will see us at Discovery Cove. I put that up a couple of weeks ago now and it was absolutely incredible. Anybody that hasn't been to Discovery Cove whilst in Orlando, head on over there because it's worth every single penny. So uh, to compliment any Disney World trip, I'd definitely go to Discovery Cove. Number two, an oldie, a goodie, a basic one. What is your favorite Disney song? And it can't be a princess song and it can't be from a Pixar movie. <laughs> so, uh, this one was quite hard because obviously I can't pick um, a princess song which Beauty and the Beast is my favourite film so I'd have probably picked something from that I can't pick a Pixar film otherwise I'd have probably picked um, You've Got a Friend in Me, Toy Story So, I would probably go for another obvious choice another fan favourite um, and a favourite of mine for a long time and now because it's part of Disney Marvel. Um, I am going to go with Spider-Man. So um, the original theme tune to the original Spider-Man, and I, I don't believe it's in the MCU anymore. I don't know if the originals count with Tobey Maguire, but um, that theme tune will always be Spider-Man. So um, that's my song choice. Number three. What's your favorite? Disney animated movie again it can't be a princess and it can't be Pixar so throwing you for a little bit of a loop Star Wars again only more recently over the last few years did Star Wars become a part of Disney I have always been a Star Wars fan uh, my favorite one has to be episode 3 uh, because of the transition of Anakin Skywalker into Vader uh, now I know that a lot of people wasn't too impressed with the first three installments and uh, you know there wasn't a, a, a big character build because there was such a big gap between Anakin being so young in episode one to him being you know a young adult in number two. Uh, there wasn't really much you know uh, brotherly love throughout between Anakin and Obi-Wan but overall Star Wars is my favorite movie number four what is your favorite 
Disney live action movie. It has to be between the 80s and the early 2000s. So anything between 1980 and 2009. So uh, I think for me, uh, the live action between 1980 and 2009 would have to be 101 Dalmatians. And uh, I. I still like that film. I haven't watched it in years, actually, uh, but I think it was done really well. Um, I can't remember if the dogs were actually real or they were CGI, but I'm pretty sure they were real. And uh, you know, all the actors was really good, and it was released in 1996. Um, so yeah, I'd probably go with 101 Dalmatians. Number five. What is your favorite Disney Channel original movie, or have you even watched any? Um, some people like them, some people don't. Again, I've got to search for this because I don't really watch a Disney Channel, but I'm pretty sure that I might have seen some of the stuff that was on there. So for me, um, I didn't really used to watch the Disney Channel. Um, I only ever used to watch stuff like Cartoon Network, yeah, and Nickelodeon and stuff like that. Um, but I have seen, um, the only thing I have seen is High School Musical, and uh, it gives us Zac Efron. And he's been in quite a few good films recently. Um, he has seemed to have boosted into the industry. Um, he's a good looking guy. Um, you know, I think uh, Baywatch was one of my favourites for women, and uh, I hope they're going to make another one of those with uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. So, uh, and I do believe I've heard that they're going to be making another high school musical with Zac Efron and the original cast. So, yeah, uh, please forgive me. I don't know all the characters. I have watched it, but it was many years ago now. So, um, I thought if I had to pick one, it'd probably be that one. Number six. It's kind of a half and half. So, what is your favorite Disney game? It could be a board, a board game, or a video game. And whilst, um, again, I, I'm still with this one because I don't really play board games as such, and I don't really have any Disney games. I know Lucy has Kingdom of Hearts. Um, I've had a little go at that, I think, um, in the past, but. Um, again, I don't think Spider-Man is, even though it's Marvel, it's Disney, I don't know if it is or it isn't, but um, if it is, it'd be Spider-Man, I play that quite a lot. But again, that's another hard one. Um, catching me out, Natty, catching me out, girl. Number seven, what is your favorite defunct Disney ride? So a Disney ride that is no longer in the parks. It could be a ride that maybe you never got a chance to go on. Oh my god. Just give me one second because I've got to look online again. So, whilst I've only obviously um, been out there once to Disney World, I would say um, from the things that I have seen that have been there in the past um, to come back, I'd probably say the stunt show. Um, because I thought that was still there and it isn't uh, that looked quite good uh, the cable cars uh, was a fun favorite so everybody that got the Skyliner you know last year two years ago don't know only last year now in it yeah feels like such a long time ago being in lockdown um, and honey I shrunk the kids as well that had been quite fun to go in so um, there's a couple I'd have picked um, I know it's one um, so yeah Number eight, what is your most anticipated upcoming Disney attraction? It would be Tron Legacy in Tomorrowland in the Magic Kingdom. Um, when that was announced, I was so excited. I'm not a huge roller coaster fan, as most of you know, that follow me channel. Um, it's it it kind of resembles sort of like. A Universal's Hagrid sort of coaster, and I know it's doing really well over in um, China right now, um, and that's one of the reasons it was started to be pop up in um, Disney World. And I am really, really looking forward to that ride. I, 
I was going to have to push myself to go on there, but I'd probably enjoy it if I did. Um, I just know that when we go back and after lockdown, it's going to be absolutely crazy mental. So whether I'm prepared to wait the amount of time, if I can't get a fast pass, because I reckon there'll be no fast passes, just like all the other new rides that have come to Disney World recently, because it gives everybody a chance to get on then. So it definitely be Tron Legacy. Number nine. How many times have you been to Disney? It could be any of the Disney parks. Just been to Disney World and it's just the one so far, but we plan to go many more times in the future. Now, Disney World is a better option for us. We have Disneyland Paris on our doorstep, basically. We're in the Midlands, so we, we're like a bit further up, about 175 mile, maybe more. I think it's more from London. Um, could be wrong. Could be like 300 miles. Anyway, we're in the middle of the country, <laughs> and uh, it does with the euro. Euro is quite, you know, bab against the pound, and for what we'd spend over there, we might as well go to Disney World. So why not go to Disney World? Because it's far more better. You get like six parks: Typhoon Lagoon, Blizzard Beach, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and. You know the other one. So yeah. Number 10. How many Disney properties have you visited? So we're talking could be Disneyland California, Disneyland Paris, Hong Kong, Shanghai, um, Tokyo Disney, Walt Disney World of course, and um, Alani also counts. So um, we're obviously on the art of animation. So that's one. We went to the Polynesian. Uh, we went to... Do you know what? Um, we went to Caribbean Beach. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. I'll have to look again. She's throwing me through all these hoops at the minute. Disney World properties. Now we did want to go over to Art of Animation. And uh, we did want to go over to Art of Animation's sister hotel, Pop Century. Um, and we did go drive in there, but we were so busy and with Hurricane Dorian, uh, we didn't manage to get over there. So, um, so. We didn't go to Disney's Only Mill Kingdom Lodge, although we do want to go there at some point. Uh, there we are, we went to the Contemporary, because uh, that's where we see uh, Chef Mickey's is. Um, Polynesian, yeah, we went there for um, the Ohana breakfast. And I think that's the only two places we went to other than Art of Animation, so free in total. But we do plan to go to more, and uh, I'm definitely wanting to do some reviews on each of the resorts uh, with corresponding, you know, photography and videography. So, yes, free. Number 11. What Disney Resort Hotel do you most want to stay at? Animal Kingdom Lodge and it is expensive. I speak for both myself and Lucy on that one. It is beautiful at Animal Kingdom. It is my favourite park, um, which is quite surprising because most of the most of the favourite stuff, most of the stuff I enjoy is in Hollywood Studios, but I absolutely love Animal Kingdom. Um, and I'd love to say that, but it's really expensive. Number 12, what's your favourite Walt Disney World Park? So pick one of the four parks. Animal Kingdom. Um, I love the um, the outback and being outside and stuff. I've always wanted to go to Africa and it's I like got that sort of feeling to it. Um, it's lovely and hot. You got the animals. You know, it, it's just it's not a big park, but it, there's just something special about it. It's got some amazing rides in there. You got Pandora in there as well. Um, on flight of passage, so you got the um, the the river journey as well, Navi River journey. 
Um, so, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Number 13. Have you been to any of the Walt Disney World attractions outside of the four parks? Uh, anybody that's watched my vlogs will know that we went to Typhoon Lagoon. We would have gone to Blizzard Beach, but we heard that it wasn't running on full hours because we're getting ready to close for a longer refurbishment this year. Um, and hopefully that'll be done for when Walt Disney World opens again after lockdown. And Typhoon Lagoon was absolutely incredible. It was a fantastic day, it was so hot, there were so many people there having fun, um, families of all ages and anybody that goes, please go to Typhoon Lagoon because you'll have a fantastic day. I'll even put a link up there to go to the video. Number 14, your favourite restaurant in the Walt Disney World property. It was breakfast. Chef Mickey's was a favourite of ours um, and that's a collective favourite. Uh, we were definitely going back there. The food was absolutely glorious. Um, it was breakfast and you could get as much as you want. You met, what, five characters? You had uh, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Donald and Goofy. Um, so we hit five characters in one meal. That was incredible. So yeah. Um, that was a cheeky sneak in then. What is your favourite restaurant within the Walt Disney World Four Parks? So we went to a few restaurants during our time that we went in 2019. Um, we were there for three weeks. My favourite restaurant by far was Be Our Guest. And, um, well, I don't need to tell you why. I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan anyway, um, and I was really, really excited to go there. I wanted to, you know, taste the food to front, and um, we've got those vlogs up on our channel if you want to go check those out. It was amazing. It was beautiful. Got to meet the Beast. Um, he can't really meet the Beast anywhere else other than in his castle. Occasionally, he'll come out and he'll be with Belle if you're lucky. Um, but unless you get a reservation you're not going to meet him so you'll go have your food and then you'll meet him when you've uh, had your food so um, you can walk around the west wing um, and around the hall where they're dancing and then you can go into the well I'd call it the picture room because it's not really a library because there's no books in there but it is incredible it is beautiful and it was a great evening so uh, anybody that's going there go to be our guest Number 16, have you ever done a Adventures by Disney trip or would you ever like to? No, we haven't. We haven't done that. Um, whether we plan to do that in the future, I don't know. But um, when you go there, there's so much to do. Um, so who knows, maybe in the future. If I um, manage to get over there a lot more in the future, which I hope to do. So we can, you know, regularly go there every couple of months, hopefully, and uh, do that, yeah. Number 17, what's your favorite amusement park outside of Disney World? Would definitely be Universal Studios. Universal, um, I, I'm a bit divided with Universal Studios because it's got a lot of stuff in there I like, but then it's got a lot of big rides that I don't like, because um, I don't like big rides. Um, but the park, the park was really good. Um, it definitely appeals to like teens and older um, taking uh, our daughter kind of although no she she enjoyed the Harry Potter part um, and we did as well to be fair so I'll take that back the Harry Potter areas were fantastic so yeah I'd, I, I'd say Universal Studios number 18 if you had and all expense paid to any Disney park in the world, which one would you choose? I'd probably go to... Shanghai. Um, and the reason being is because obviously we've already been to Disney World and I do want to go back to Disney World. But um, Shanghai is like on the other side of the planet. So it would be great to... Because I plan to go to all of them at some point in his lifetime, hopefully. Um, and 
get around them and review them and stuff so it'd be nice to see a different take on Disney in different parts of the world and what they've got different from other parks so whilst yes Disney World's always going to be our favourite um, I definitely want to go to Shanghai Number 19, it's kind of a two-parter What is your ideal Disney trip and what is your ultimate Disney trip? So this is like a two-part question. So my ideal Disney trip is to get to Disney World um, and get there for at least two to three weeks and have a roof over his head and just go out and enjoy it, um, do some vlogging like I did last time and not worry about money because um, that's one thing um, that people always ask whether they've been or not, oh, we've got this many people, shall we take this amount of money? I always say, take more money than you need, and then if you need to bring some back, well, some spare. With us, we went for three weeks, and we spent about 9,000, so, um, yeah. But we had a bloody good time as well, so. Um, and the ultimate Disney trip. So, we had planned on our next trip, which I don't think is happening now, but uh, we had planned that maybe we'd go to Disney World in Orlando for a week and then we'd head and get on the Disney cruise and go on that for a week and then we'd turn back to Orlando again. So we'd be reviewing Disney World, we'd be reviewing places like Discovery Cove and uh, Clearwater, getting around that a bit more um, and then going on a cruise and going around, you know, the. Um, few places that it goes down near the keys um, so yeah that's a, a an ultimate Disney trip for me um, and obviously that I'll probably be done in the future but it's definitely on the cards so yep so here is part two of the questions we're getting into what I'm kind of calling the have you questions. Um, they all kind of stack together on themselves. I don't know, it just kind of happens. So I figured this could be a category. <laughs> Number 20. Have you or would you ever Disney bound? Yes, I would dress up in the parks as a character um, or close to a character because you can't dress up actually like one of the characters because obviously you can get chucked out because people, kids come up to you thinking you're part of the, you know. But I've seen that there's a website um, which has characters similar to those in the parks. And yeah, I would like to dress up. Um, who I dress up as, I don't know. But if you've got any suggestions, guys, um, leave some comments below. Number 21. Have you ever seen Mighty Joe Young? It's kind of a random one. I know. I personally really love that movie and I got to watch it again for the first time in like 10 years recently and it was it was great. I was so excited about it. <laughs> yes, I have. I have seen it many years ago. Um, I haven't watched it in a long time. So uh, it's an all right film. There's nothing wrong with it. So uh, I might have to give it another watch to be fair. But now we've got Disney Plus, I'm hoping that it's on there. And I'm pretty sure it will be. So um, yeah, I've been like, I watched George at Jungle the other day, which was quite funny. I haven't seen that film in years. That's Brendan Fraser. So uh, oh, <laughs> that, that was a very terrible. Um, Number twenty-two. Have you ever played Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom? Nope. Don't know what it is. I'm sorry. Um, I haven't. Number twenty-three. Have you ever played Pirates Adventure: Treasure of the Seven Seas? That is the Pirates of the Caribbean themed game activity in the Magic Kingdom. No, we haven't. And the reason being is not because we didn't want to, because we actually went to go um, do it, because we saw Tim do it just before we went away, Tim Tracker. And uh, it looked quite, re it, it looked really, really good. Um, so we went there and it was closed. I don't know why. Um, maybe they'd run out of things, I don't know, it will, it will close, and, uh, but hopefully next time we will be able to do it and that's what we plan to do. Number 24, have you ever played Agent P's World Showcase Adventure over in Epcot? Nope, uh, we only ever went to Epcot once and we only got as far as Mexican Pavilion and we was, do you know what? 
we was so tired and our feet was absolutely red raw. We were they were killing, and you know there was so much going on. We had the hurricane um, coming towards Orlando. Things were closing down, so things were getting moved back. We we tried to fit everything in. Um, next time we're going to do everything uh, so much nicer. But Epcot's going to be concentrated on a bit more, and you never know we might end up doing that in the future. Now we're moving on to our third and final category for the Q&A and it is the quick paced would you rather edition of it. So I'm really excited for this part. Number 25, Disney walls or Disney treats? We saw one wall, I think we saw the purple wall when we were in there, um, but it'd be definitely Disney treats for us I think. Um, who doesn't love a good Disney treat? Um, we like the premium bars, they're alright. So, um, and do you know what surprises me as well? Because um, I'd, I'd say it's a treat. Um, corn dogs, uh, you can't find them in Disney World. Um, I'm quite shocked about that being in America. Unless they are in Epcot and we just haven't come across them. Um, but if anybody knows if you can get corn dogs in Disney World, please let me know in the comments below. Number 26, would you rather listen to It's a Small World a hundred times on repeat or never be able to go to a single Disney park ever again. I haven't heard the Small World theme tune, um, but I'm sure that if it was on repeat a hundred times, I'd remember it. But I'd definitely sit there and listen to that, because um, I'd never not want to go to Disney World again, or a Disney park ever again. So yeah, I'd sit and listen to that over, 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 over again. Number 27, would you rather do the Four Parks One Day Challenge or the Disney Mountain Challenge? I'm not a big ride fan, so I'd probably have to go for the latter and do the Four Parks in One Day Challenge, which actually sounds quite fun. Um, and it is quite possible, because we did, I think there were days where we did two in in um you know in one morning so you'd able to do it if you split it up and did a couple of hours at one and then a couple of hours at other if you, if let's say you went out for you know six hours and you you did what an hour and a half in each park you'd able to get around quite a lot of stuff so uh yeah um maybe that's a challenge for our next trip number 28 mickey pretzel or churro we haven't tried churros uh, the Mickey pretzels, however, are delicious. We had them in Animal Kingdom when we was coming around the back of the tree, just behind the river, um, and we got one from a stand, and it comes with like a little cheese pot, um, and it's like processed cheese melted, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So much so that Lucy had bought one, and then I went and bought one afterwards because I tried a bit of hers. So definitely the Mickey pretzel. Number 29. Park open to close, or show up whenever you want and leave whenever you want. It's like a 50-50 that one because like if if it doesn't have a closed time then it always be it'll be harder for stuff to be done um, by the park you know the cast members. I think that I'd prefer it to close um, but to be fair the, the hours at the parks at the minute are quite lo you know long they've been extended or they were up until the point of the lockdown um, because of all the new attractions within the parks so i'd probably say I'd keep them closed like around 12 one o'clock like they were doing so so they can get everything like cleaned up and sorted again for a new day um but i think it'd be cool like once or twice a year where they stay open for 24 hours i think that'd be pretty cool with people coming in at the middle of the morning um in the dark with all the lights on that's pretty um epic but you get that um nighttime feeling anyway because you know it gets dark uh, back end of the year like from what nine ten o'clock so you still have that time and going round on uh Sinky dog dash was amazing in the dark and number 30 the biggest would you rather question of them all would you rather be able to go to any disney park but no other attraction ever of any kind in the entire world we're talking museums indoor skydiving um I literally can't think of any of the attractions, theme parks, amusement parks, anything, like any attraction of any kind. Or would you rather be able to go to any kind of attraction in the world 
but you only get to go to one Disney park. Decisions, decisions. I'll probably go to the Disney parks um, and all the attraction in the world, because like, like I say, I'm not a big ride fan. Um, I'll go on some rides and I like to um, watch shows and stuff, but I don't go on big rides. I, I don't know why I never have done. Um, I've gone on the occasional one here and there in my lifetime. It's just like you see all these stories um, hanging about of accidents that happen. Um, the most recent one was uh, Alton Towers, which is not too far away from here where we live, and uh, that was with a smiler and it crashed into another car that was on the line. Um, it was a test. Um, that they were doing beforehand and it stopped halfway through track and the people didn't know and people lost their legs and uh, got sent to hospital and stuff and it was a very serious accident and I just don't trust machinery, um, never have done and I don't get why people like getting that like weird feeling that you get when you go down big drops and stuff, it doesn't do anything for me, um, I'd rather just go sit and watch a good show like um, you know um, happily ever after or something like that where you can share it with other people and still have a good time so uh, it'd definitely be for me um, out of the Disney parks open um, so yeah and that is it guys that is the full 30 Q&A questions for Disney D vlogs I really hope you enjoyed it I hope Dave had a lot of fun with it and I hope to see you guys over on my channel very soon um, I will be doing a Q&A that Dave gave me to answer so I'm really excited and I am also going to be answering those questions myself on my own channel so definitely go ahead and click the links down below and go check them out I had a lot of fun with this collab Dave so thank you again for having me on I really enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys really soon bye guys anyway that completes the 30 questions from Natty Rogue. Thank you ever so much for tuning in again for another Q&A with myself. And Natty, thank you uh, for sending me the videos over. It's something a bit of a diff it's a bit of a different format than what we used to, because I just usually get the questions and put them at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so thank you for that, Natty, and putting the effort in. If you'd like to go over to her channel, in the description below I'll leave her links her websites on there including her Facebook her Twitter Instagram there's other links on there as well that you can find her on and I will put her 30 questions that she answers that she's asked at the end of this video so thanks ever so much for watching today's video guys um, join us in our next Walt Disney World one which I'll upload um, on Tuesday as always a massive thank you to everyone if you like what you saw today please head on over to my channel Disney D Vlogs it would be a massive help to me as I'm trying to get up to a thousand followers so I can start doing some lives there is a giveaway on my channel currently um, you can see that video um, in my video section on my channel and it is giving away some Disney items in a box when we reach a thousand subs so head on over to my channel hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest in Disney D vlogs and other tidbits and you'll be sure to catch us on our next adventure thanks ever so much guys stay safe see you soon bye